Hey guys, welcome back to another morning update. Hopefully you guys are great. Uh, let's go ahead and get right into it. So it's Bitcoin's price. So as you can see, we are pumped. We're pumped. Uh, this is sort of not really the reaction I was expecting out of uh, coming out of uh, the uh, this high. I was more expecting a uh, stop on high than a fall. But it looks like we're trying to test liquidity, I believe, up, up top usually but um, i don't think we're fully uh uh fully into the sort of next leg of the uh whatever born you yeah i don't know whatever you want to call it uh but at the same time uh we're not really too overly sort of bearish we're sitting a nice sort of median uh but coming into sort of the charts and uh we see everything sort of uh sort of leveling out within this playing field we still do have a headroom up top to come back up and, and trying to sort of deviate uh, into another sort of leg up. Because we only really got one push, two pushes. Hey, you can call this third push, but it would be a very sort of weak push. This could be a nice consolidation upwards into a spike, then a fall. But let's go into, I think, more of yesterday. I think I got rid of everything I drew by hand. Ah, yeah, I did. Yeah, cool. Uh, but let's just go to Trend Spider. Let's keep it nice and short. Uh, as you can see, sort of pinning to the daily level, close below here. But on today, pretty much comes back up, and uh, probably should just redistribute the can whole candle. But purely, uh, you might want to just grab fifty percent, see what it does. Fifty percent of the, uh, of the nice. Nice uh, gap. See what it fills out. I mean, probably be end up being the uh, catch up line coming in here at this uh, at this point in time. We'll see what happens. But but we're so far spread out uh, at the start of the week. So very sort of might be telling that Monday Tuesday might be sort of down days. Uh, so we see what ends up happening. And uh, the daily level comes in from the obviously the day but you see the areas where we distributed uh prior so definitely a key level where that we close if we close under uh today uh we'll expect price to rebound in so we ended up just targeting what well, main, mainly as you can see all the liquidity has just been uh and except for this this is the one that's left open so we got still got pending orders and uh stops placed here and uh, they'll probably be stopped out at this uh, number level at 39.350. From 39.50, probably get a nice drop. I forget that. And we expect some level of retracement regardless of how weak this number level. Price looks pretty extended. Uh, we're getting a nice we're thing. We're just waiting for the uh, 200 to come under, under uh, underneath the 50 as in that so everything's in the right direction we're still in sort of level three consolidation level on the daily in terms of what price is doing uh, in terms of, uh still a distribution phase uh still have a mark have and still not in a markup phase uh we'll probably get that clear sort of indication when we get these starting to uh be in the uh, right order so we have the shortest one and the longest one at the bottom then push price upwards. If we look at some alts, uh, I think API three is the only one that really gave you a re-entry at the number level we wanted. Uh, so as you can see, API three came back down to the two nice sort of number targets. Missed the second sort of one just by a hair, but still coming in clutch for the nice number target there. So it could be the short scalp. Atom just breaking, breaking his head up high at the 30, 30 of one. A couple of num, uh, a couple of figures that you want to look for. Probably see a nice rejection off of thirty, which we already saw, and see what happens at thirty one. See if they go spike, spike thirty one. So, let's say the spike, thirty one and drop. But most, of, more often, I think uh, most things will t either tend down to the uh, lower levels and, and test out 
or maybe even this level and test out the liquidity strength uh, before pushing up again because we're just we're just we were just looking for downside liquidity not for sort of bearish reasons but for as a retracement to get an entry we so we didn't get that because of bitcoin's pump well you know on, on too much so we had to like buy at premiums but we did get with that that was most alts so as you can see uh atom uh avax rather came back down here here up this level to the t uh as you can see lines lines up here and starts going up double top potential here you want to see it come back down midpoint or the back to uh, uh 87.337 three, three, fdm just i think trading in norman's land uh yeah pinning to the mail see what happens here nice a nice point where you can just come back down at any level and just fall out I think most things will like to. to I I kind of want to see consolidation. That's what, that's the main thing I kind of want to see. It's probably in the base. Uh, based on the fact that, yeah, nice consolidation will hit us and and manage all the crosses on the on the higher time frames, and then get us there. And like I said about Luna, uh, a bunch of freaks trading. You you never know what's going to end up happening, and we got a very sort of reactive pump when really we should have been pushing down cover uh cover near yeah, and, and call it a day seems to be pushing and testing highs uh where do you want to grab things from just grab the clean high as you can see so mark out the clean high here it also comes in the level where we had the midpoint as you can see from there structurally this level is a resistance uh so when you, and and you can see the point comes in the same wick, so we don't need to grab the wick, which we normally want to do anyway. But might be some bearish uh, points there. Uh, come back down as you go, there's 50. There's 50 here. We're going to potentially see a retracement there, or maybe even lower. I kind of want to see it here uh, before another push up, another leg taking out uh, liquidity there. And now I sound a bit like sort of dry, it's just like I'm, I'm, I'm hella tired. It's uh it's been busy yesterday, so and it's just still exhausted from everything. Coming down, one ten Solana, bounce perfectly off of here. Probably wanna see it come back down into uh one oh four. One oh four hit that number target maybe and then go up. Hey, that's one more time for today guys. Uh Again, I'll catch you guys in the live stream. I'll probably have a bit more energy just first thing in the morning. You ain't really got too much energy, especially because of our time going forward and just missing out. On, it's just annoying. So, have a lovely day, folks, man. Uh, I'll catch you on the next one. And I think, yeah, we actually wait. Fun, final thought. I think, yeah, breaking down and central resistance. See if it breaks down, but again, it's just a waiting game. We'll see if anything presents ourselves and you execute on trades, uh, based on based on what we what we see rather than what we believe in, uh, because I think that will work out better, especially on a day like this. So, have a lovely day, folks. I'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace.